hi welcome Simon here and hope you're doing well in this video what I'll be doing is changing out the NVMe SSD drive kind of upgrade the laptop to a larger capacity so if you're running out of storage capacity this video is going to walk you through step by step on how to do that all right here I have the Dell model uh, sorry Dell Inspiron 16 model 7620 or you can turn it around take a look at the back of your computer you should be a bit able to identify is P119F all right let's go ahead and get started but before I go ahead and show you how the process is going to be I just wanted to let you know um, <clears throat> what you need to do is if you change out the hard drive meaning that if you upgrade to a larger NVMe M2 SSD drive then pretty much the brand new hard drive is blank it doesn't have windows in it uh, therefore you would also need to install the windows into that new hard drive here so you can find the windows 10 installer usb or you can find the windows uh, 11 uh, installer usb now you can actually make your own you can go to microsoft website download into a thumb drive if you have a, a used thumb drive somewhere laying around a format that USB drive download it install then you can save money for not getting this um, let's just say that for whatever reason you couldn't download then you would have to buy this um, installer file I think that costs around like 100 plus or maybe $120 or so because it has the license in it okay uh, technically the computer has the license itself so you don't have to buy them uh, but if you if, if you're not able to download it you have no choice but to just buy the USB installer okay <laughs> I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver this is the 1.5 uh, a really tiny little Philip here let's go ahead and start removing the screws There are two screws in the center of the laptop and four screws at the bottom of your laptop. Once you have removed that, now we're going to work on the top. The top have th three screws on it and all the three screws, they do not come off. Okay, just so you know that the screw stays with the back cover. So when you unscrew, and you start hearing the clicking noise that means you have reached the limit limit of unscrewing that screw so just stop right there okay at this point here you can see that the top screw has separated the back cover uh, you give you a little bit of a room where you can use your finger to get underneath and start prying it open okay pretty much you just pop right open but if you have some difficulties <clears throat> what you want to do is to get a plastic prying tool and start prying um, the side of the the back cover because I have taken apart the computer so it's a lot easier for me to remove it but if this is your first time you might want to get underneath the back cover and start to pry it open uh, because it has all this little clipper that clips onto the side of the, the computer Alright, once you have done with that process, the next step is to identify the hard drive here, the SSD drive. So for this one, um, let's see, so it has a little tape, the taping down to it. You need to peel the tape and expose the hard drive. Okay, so they do not use the full size. This is a full size. M.2 uh, they kind of use the mini version here and they use that extension to add additional length to it so that is simple all you have to do is just to remove that one screw here okay and now you can lift up the entire mini version SSD and slide it to your left to that direction okay um, you can buy the same SSD technically it is the mini version of it uh, but if you went and purchased the 
the full version of the M2 uh, all you have to do is just to slide it back in making sure the gap matches the one here at the bottom at 45 degree angle slide it to your right make sure you push all the way in and then rest that M2 drive on top of the the screw um, bracket now do not forget to put the screw back on that is to secure the hard drive once you have done that process kind of flip that little plastic cover back on to just um, make sure that it's secure securely fastened the uh, the hard drive now um, again I just mentioned earlier on on the video that if you install a brand new hard drive the brand new M2 drive then um, the computer does not have windows in it it doesn't boot to the windows so you need to install uh, Windows 10 now they do sell this USB adapter uh, where you can transfer the data um, I'll link it down description below I don't have it with me right now uh, but what I'll do is I'll link it down description below and also give you a link how to clone it if you're interested to cloning the hard drive meaning you want to clone from here to here uh, then go ahead and watch that video it has the uh, the tools that you need to buy um, as well as the software all right I hope this video is helpful thanks for watching um, just make sure you smash the like button for me and uh, if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe until next time take care and bye now